Back to that breaking news now. Out of Northeast Philadelphia, two police officers have been shot in Holmesburg. CBS News Philadelphia's Madeline Wright is live at Jefferson Torizo Hospital where those officers were taken. Madeline, what have police told you so far? Good morning, Howard Jan. Police wrapped up a news conference a short time ago here at Jefferson Torresdale Hospital. Interim Commissioner John Stanford says that one of his officers was shot in the head, the other shot in the face and leg. He says miraculously, both officers are expected to survive their injuries and are currently listed in stable condition. This is video of one of the officers' cars riddled with bullets. The chain of events started around 2 o'clock this morning when someone called 911. To report shots fired at Cotman Avenue and Roosevelt Boulevard in Mayfair. When officers arrived, they couldn't find any gunshot victim, but they did find a pickup truck matching the description of the suspect vehicle. Commissioner Stanford says police tried to pull over the driver, but he took off. Officers pursued the pickup truck to Frankfurt Avenue and Welsh Road. The commissioner says as soon as the two highway patrol officers got out of their car, the suspect opened fire. You know, continuing to keep those officers uh, in, in our thoughts and prayers, uh, doing the, the job that they ultimately have been sworn to do. But as we have said one too many times, you know, we, we have these press conferences over and over and over again where our officers are in, involved in these type of incidents um, that one displays uh, the, the commitment that they have, but also displays the, the lack of respect for law enforcement in the sense that you have an individual that is willing to. Uh, fire at officers uh, when they are simply doing their job. The interim commissioner says that four officers returned fire, shooting the 40 year old suspect who is listed in critical condition. Live at Jefferson Torresdale Hospital, Madeline Wright, CBS News, Philadelphia.